for traveling on the x axis it shows direction quite easily how does it show because this is the positive direction this is the negative direction what does displacement say well if i move from this point let us say x is equal to 2 to x is equal to 4 then this was my displacement because displacement is an arrow from start to finish always always arrow from start to end okay that's the best definition of displacement easiest to understand always correct so i start here i end there this arrow is the displacement now this arrow has a length this arrow also has direction it has length and direction now if this was where i started and this is where i ended then what would be my answer displacement distance would be this displacement now that unfortunately is bent like this right it's not a straight line which is moving to the right but it is still a straight line with some direction does it tell you the direction does the arrow tell you the direction does the arrow have a length yes the arrow has both length and direction now this is a different start s yes. so this arrow usually to say that it is an arrow we'll use the letter s sometimes instead of saying start and end i'll be calling it a and b if i want just the length from a to b what will i call it a b right for a triangle when you do a b c d for a quadrilateral or abc is a triangle what is ab side ab right so length of ab so like this right suppose you say this is a triangle abc this would be ab but here i don't want the length ab i want the arrow ab so i'm going to write this as a to b but it is an arrow from A to B. So we mark it like that. What will happen if I walk from B to A? <laughs> now you may want to do this arrow. Okay. So you write the arrow. If I want this arrow. You write the arrow as B to A. Now somebody may say. No, no, no. Why should I write it like this? I should write it as b a and mark the arrow like this because that's the way it's going now that's all nice to say but suppose a was here and b was there how will i mark the arrow here on the board a b will you mark it like this so will you put a b arrow tough to write okay so when you write on the board or write on paper you would like a two-dimensional picture it's an arrow from a to b but you don't you say that English is written from left to right. So similarly, if I want to go from B to A, don't write A, B and put the arrow from B to A. You say you are going from B to A. So first write B because that is the first. Then you write A. And so the arrow always looks as if it is going right. Even if you are going left. If I was going down, let us say this was C and this is D. How will I write this? I won't do this C D and put an arrow like that no I will write it like this like in English we will say C to D how do I know go C to D put an arrow so this is an arrow from C to D okay what if I was going from D to C so I will write D C arrow the arrow is important because that tells you that first of all it's an arrow Second, it also tells you from where to where. It tells you both. And displacement is an arrow from A to B or B to A. Always from start to finish. Is that okay first? Okay. Now you may have traveled in this direction. It doesn't matter. It is a simple arrow from the beginning to the end. Clear so far? Now, but there is also a length of this arrow, no? Correct? Yes. Now that length of that arrow 
is actually from this to that. What would that be called generally in geometry? AB. With the arrow or without the arrow? Without the arrow. So then we write, if I want just the length, we make this symbol. We call this the magnitude of that arrow. So you have an arrow. You say, that's an arrow. Don't tell me the arrow itself. Just tell me the length of the arrow. So how do we say it? We put a symbol on top, on the side. That basically means I want magnitude of this displacement. Now magnitude of this displacement is equal to AB. What about this arrow? If you take its magnitude, that will be BA magnitude. But if you took magnitude of BA, what will that be? AB. AB because BA length is equal to AB length. So you could have called it BA, I could have called it AB. So AB length is the same as BA length. But A to B arrow is not the same as B to A arrow. In fact, AB arrow and BA arrow are opposites. One will be minus of the other. But AB length and BA length are not opposites. They are the same. In a triangle, you can say AB, you can say BA, it's the same length. It's just a length. But going from A to B or B to A, they are very different. So now, the shortest distance... We should not have called it displacement. Can we call it something else? What is it? Ah, very good. So if I add to this an extra phrase saying that the magnitude of displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final. Is it now correct? Yes. yes. Because magnitude of the displacement is actually a distance. Because magnitude of the arrow is just a length. And distance is also just a length. Arrow is not equal to length. But magnitude of the arrow is length. Is that clear to everybody? And in physics, these small differences matter. Displacement can be negative, can be positive, can be an arrow. We will see later it is a much more complex quantity. Whereas... Magnitude of the displacement is very simple. It is just a length. Is that understood, everybody? Yes? Okay. Now, let us come to this uh, situation. So, I hope this definition you understand. In school, many times, you will be asked to define displacement. What they mean is, they want you to define the magnitude of displacement. Because your school textbook may sometimes say displacement is the shortest distance between the start and end. It is wrong. But if you want marks, please write it. And if you feel like, no, no, I don't want to write it because it's wrong, please write magnitude of displacement is the shortest distance between start and finish. Then it is correct. Okay? And you will get marks for that anyway. Is it understood? So, displacement itself is not a distance, but magnitude of displacement is distance. 